slower. Okay, this is 3.4 solving a percent mixture problem using a system of linear equations. The Royal Fem Fruit Company produces two types of fruit drinks. The first type is 60% fruit juice, and the second type is 85% uh, pure fruit juice. The company is attempting to produce a fruit drink that contains 75% pure fruit juice. How many pints of each of the two existing types of drink must be used to make 60 pints of a mixture that is 75% pure fruit juice? So that means one of our equations is going to be the number of pints used, and the second equation is going to be the mixtures of everything. Okay? So because they're asking me how many pints of each of the two existing types of drink, those are going to be my variables. So I'm going to let x equal the pints of the first type of fruit drink, which was the one at 60%, right? The first is 60%. And then y will equal the pints of the second type, which is the one at 85%. This is just here for me so that when I get my answers, I can go back and know which one goes with which, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and see what our equations look like. So if I know number of pints for the first type and I know the number of pints for the second type that means that together these pints should add up to equal 60 pints I mean you are pouring solutions into a container so you can't put any more than the 60 pints that they're trying to find okay so it would be the first type plus the second type equal to the 60 now for the mixture equation so I'm gonna have 60% this is how much fruit juice is going on here. So 60% times the amount from the first fruit drink plus 85% from the amount of the second fruit drink should give me a total of 75% of the new mixed drink, which I know has to be 60 pints. Okay. So then if I want to eliminate a variable, I will multiply the top equation by negative 0.60. And so then I get, let me, let me first multiply this number out. So 0.75 times 60 is 45. So now I know that that's just 45 in disguise, right? So let's multiply this. We get negative 0.60x, negative 0.60y, and negative 0.60 times 60 will equal negative 36. So when I combine the two, these are going to cancel. 0.1585 positive minus 0.060. Oh, I put that in the wrong. 0 0.85 minus 0 0.60 is going to be positive 0.25y. And then 45 minus 36 is going to equal 9. So then if I solve for y, I'm going to do 9 divided by 0 0.25, and I get 36. So I know how many pints of the second type of fruit juice I need. If I want to figure out the number of pints for the first one, I need to plug that back in. So x plus 36 equals 60. All I need to do is 60 minus 36, and I get 24. So I know exactly how many pints of each type to use. So I need 24 pints of the 60% pure fruit juice drink and then I need 36 pints of the 85% pure fruit juice drink. Okay, And then that will give me the 60 pints total of a drink that is only 75% fruit juice.